Alright, let's play Broken Sword, the director's cut. My name's George. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. Do you know hmm. Professor Pegram? He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. Did you work at Professor Pegram's oh. dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? What can you tell me about the castle? There is nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes, when I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. We didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? No. Of course he's lying. See you later. Talk to him. Hi there. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of the picnic. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run. From me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. I tried to buy her medicine. Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I, see what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared the to him, guy. Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. Um. Do you know anything about Pegram's dig? He wouldn't let me anywhere near it. I offered to help, but he chased me off. I didn't want to see his smelly old hole anyhow. <laughs> Did anyone from the village work at the dig? Pegram bought some students and bums with him. He reckoned no one in Loch Marne would know what to look for. The only local guy who worked for him was Sean Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald says he's never been anywhere near the dig. He's having you on, mister. See, what can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only, what do you want to know? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle oh, you're not telling me, don't audio you? Went funny no. There. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called the Phantom of Loch Man. Mm. You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes last Tuesday night. I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig, only worse. It was coming from inside the castle. Did you find Didn't out you? what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows that could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but me legs had lost their stuffing. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on me ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing and horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why, I fell off the bloody wall. Ouch. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. There is. The bloody place is haunted. 
Do you know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marne? They all dress like clowns. The man I'm looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff. Only no one believes him. Then, while he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God. That doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. You're not a day over 14. Oh, no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. <laughs> Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't, because he's not here now. But if I sees him, I'll ask him. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels and gold and skeletons, like in the films. Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No, I never seed him. Hmm. See you later, later kid. Okay, mister. So we're gonna head back inside. I tugged at the plastic cover, but it didn't move. I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> Try this. Didn't do anything. Okay, back inside. Um. Mr. Fitzgerald? McGuire says he saw you working at the dig. What's more, he saw you talking with Pegram. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd get caught. I need to talk to Professor Pegram, if he's still alive. What do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah, you too, if I'm right. You're not from the Social Security. Hell no. What makes you think that? Well, uh, I was claiming benefit at the same time I was working for Pegram. I'm not in a position to make judgments, Sean. That's between you and your conscience. All I want is to talk to Pegram about the gem. But he's not here! I know that. But he left that package with you, didn't he? Talk to him about the package. Yep. So where did Pegram go? I don't know. I swear it. He came to see me early this morning. Said he was leaving. He asked me to give this package to a guy called Marque. Show me what's in the package, Sean. I, I can't do that. Why not? I promised the professor. So what? You didn't have any qualms about your benefit scam. So where's the harm in taking a peek inside Pegram's package? You don't know these people. I can't. I don't dare. This is your last chance to show me the package, Fitzgerald. I've been patient with you, but now it's time to kick ass. But he'll kill me. Who will? The man from Paris. Jack Marquet. Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double-crossed Marquet, I'd be dead. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. Give the package to me. No. Why should I trust you? I don't know who to trust anymore. I wish I'd never even heard of the Lockmarn gem. And out he runs. Here, Maguire, come back when you're old enough. What's the lad howling about? A big red sports car. Sean Fitzgerald's been run over. Get out! Noisy little tyke. Maybe you should send out some medicinal brandy maker. Oh, yes. And who's going to pay for it? Not me. Me too, neither. All right, I better go out and investigate. I was telling the truth about Fitzy, mister. Okay, okay, calm down. Now tell me what happened. I was standing here, minding me own business, when I saw this beautiful red sports car coming up over the hill. Would you look at that, says I. And I going over to take a closer look, 
Next thing, Fitzy comes tearing out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass. But the car just flies at him. It was too fast for poor old Fitzy and hit him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. I thought he was a goner. Next thing, the driver hops out and I couldn't believe my eyes. He was dressed like a bloody pixie. Aha. Okay, now we can... That's open, we can press that. I pushed the switch down, but in doing so it snapped off in my hand. That was for the beer pump. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir? May I have another beer, please? Certainly, sir. Same again? Yeah, please. How is this stuff made? That's the secret of the master brewer, sir. Each barrel is lovingly manhandled in time-honored fashion. Suspended on skillfully tied ropes of the finest hemp. Lowered into the cellar, utilizing the forces of original gravity. Like manner from heaven. I'm sorry, but the pump appears to be broken. I could fix it for you. I don't think so. This is a job for a professional electrician. Oh well, at least the glass washer is still working. It's not my dear, is it? <laughs> it just so happens I'm an electrician. <coughs> Check out my credentials. Well, no. Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> Here's a house bedeviled with faulty wiring of a wayward nature. Here's you, an electric man, with a little plastic card to prove it. Hmm. I still want to see what you can do before I let you touch me beer pumps. You can make a start on the glass washer. Okay, I'm going to leave it off here for this video. And when you finish that, will you take a look at the pump?